<laughs> okay, <I> did it. <laughs> it's always touch and go with these things. <laughs> How are you? You're outside? I am. I figured it's nice to sit on the porch yeah, today. That's awesome. No, I've had my windows open today just to get some fresh air. <laughs> I hope it stays like this. I know. The last couple of days have been so nice. <laughs> um, how are you feeling? How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you got your phone set up? What's that? The phone look the phone's all set up. Okay, cool. Um, well we can go ahead and get started. <laughs> so for everyone in. I know a lot of people end up kind of watching this later on. Um, I do see a couple of people on live now, but I wanted to um, introduce Laura or Laura, you know, from Laura's Focus Photography. Do you want to just give a little background of yourself and what you do? I'm a wedding and portrait photographer. I do engagements and weddings as well as family shoots maternity, newborn, all of those kind of special moments in people's lives and started back in 2005. And I mostly I started out in Virginia, it's where I was living at the time, and then moved back to my hometown, Eastern Shore of Maryland and kind of built my base here. So most of the weddings are around Chesapeake Bay area and the, the cities nearby. But I love love what I do, and it's been a fun journey. Along. <laughs> yes, and I'll just give a brief intro myself um, for anybody joining. You know Laura um, first before me. I'm a positive psychology coach, and I work with individuals who've been looking to make a career change or start a business around something that they're passionate about, meaningful. Um, and so I wanted to give. <laughs> we were emailing back, you know, when we first met. I wanted to give people a little information about how we know each other. <laughs> so I've actually, what, go ahead. <laughs> it was that long ago. <laughs> I know, I know. We're emailing and I'm like, what was it? So we met in 2016, I moved back from teaching in the Bahamas and I wanted to start my photography business and I to get, get experience with shooting my and Laura, I connected with Laura, and um, yeah, I'm still shooting with her now. <laughs> uh, Help Laura out with all of her weddings. Been second shooting, yeah, 2016, which is kind of nuts. Um, minus my little stint when I was in, living in Hawaii, but and we've just become great friends over the years. We both love the water, we love adventure, travel. Um, I was able to sail with you and your family last year in the Exumas, which is awesome, right before everything shut down. <laughs> Good timing you got there. <laughs> I know. Um, so I wanted to chat with Laura today. Thank you again for, you know, hopping on these. I know for many people I'm doing this with, it's probably their first live interview. Um, but Laura has been doing her business since 2005, right? So 16 years now. Um, and I think she's just such a, for me, it's, you've always been inspiring and somebody that I chat with about business, that I did, especially when I was doing my photography business. Um, but I think you're a great example of somebody who's created your own work. You created your own business around something you're deeply interested in. And, you know, you have your college education in photography and business and marketing, just perfect. <laughs> it's a combination of the two. Um, and just working with you over the years, you know, seeing how you need to try to um, improve your craft. You know, we're always messing around with different angles, at wedding, trying out different, you know, like night shots or different lighting. And yeah, and, you know, you just kind of continue to I think you have sort of a vision with your business and you keep working toward that. Um, and then the other piece is that you've been able to design, I think, with having your own work in your business, you've been able to design lifestyle. And I know that's something we've talked about a lot. You know, you get to go, go sailing in the winters when your photography is sort of, you know, in its slow season, you're able to do some of that end work um, when you're, you know, on your boat. <laughs> 
Um, and then on top of all this, just knowing you as a friend and business owner, I, I think you're one of the most organized and communicative people I've met, you know, working in business. And then equally, you're laid back and you have fun with what you're doing. So, it's, yeah, it's been a lot of fun working with you over the years. It's, <laughs> yeah. I think your sound, I don't know if there's an, an if you can get a little closer or. Yeah, let's think. I was just saying, I love working with you too. It's always <laughs> so you go with the flow and that's great for things. You, know? <laughs> you yeah. never know what pop up. Yeah, I think we have a good, we have a good flow together, especially mm -hmm. because, and you, you seem to kind of attract the laid back couples, which makes it easy <laughs> when we are to <laughs> in these beautiful yeah. locations on the water, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, the first question, kind of just to get into things, I was going to ask what initially got you interested in photography? Okay, so, well, I guess the very first thing was my grandfather gave me a old film style Canon AE1 camera. It's just one he had when he had children and just passed it on to me. And I really had fun with it. And then I the first class I took was in high school. It was a darkroom class, and they just kind of hid the darkroom behind the um, cafeteria curtain. It was a room, dark room back in there. <laughs> so very basic, but I just really got into it and loved it and started just shooting everything. It was more um, landscape and detail and then started getting into people and took off from there. So I knew... I wanted to pursue that in college. So I originally started out with a photography major. Mm -hmm. I took all the art classes and photography classes, but then realized I think I need a different degree because nobody's <laughs> asking me about my photography degree. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. I never get that question. <laughs> but, so I added in business and marketing, which turned out to be a great fit um, at the time I didn't know I wanted to have my own business in weddings I was aiming towards working for a publication mm -hmm. like a photojournalism route for newspaper or magazine and then I photographed a few friends weddings and that's just how it took off from there I just really liked documenting those special days and special moments for people yeah and in addition to weddings it seems like then a lot of those clients when they have families and babies you're shooting the portraits and <laughs> yeah I love um when brides and grooms contact me later and I get to do their maternity sessions and their new and family so it's just fun to watch yeah. them grow and just continue on with them so it's not just a, a one day and that's all I see I'm like it's fun to connect again yeah mm -hmm. so why is doing this work why has it been so meaningful for you because I know you said you started out your business while you were working too right like you were had a yeah. full -time job and I had a day job till I had my first son and um, I wish I had left it earlier I definitely I was working like crazy just doing the full-time day job it was marketing for an engineering company and then I would do photography on the side. So I'd leave work and go to shoots in the evening and mm -hmm. shoot weddings on the weekends. So it was pretty crazy. I didn't have much free time at all. <laughs> yeah. Eventually felt comfortable enough leaving the day job and it's been wonderful. <laughs> Great. So yeah. to, just going back to why do you think or tr making that transition was so meaningful for you? leaving here or trying to start that up while you had your day job yeah I guess just being able to do what I love was an amazing thing mm -hmm. um it just uh it just felt felt great just be able to you know build my business the way I want it to be and you know tailor it for the certain clients that I love and and so on so just and just being able to be there to document all those special times. It's just, it was more exciting than engineering <laughs> documents. Yeah. <laughs> <It's shocking. laughs> Way more exciting. <laughs> That's funny. Um, 
yeah. Yeah, so I guess my next, the next question I had kind of piggybacks on that with like, why has it been so important for you to do this work and create your own business? Like you said, you work for um, a publication to shoot for them. Why was it more important for you to create your own work and business? Oh, just having the independence and um, tail being able to tailor it my own way, my own, you know, take my own path and my own creativity and, and grow that was really just something special. And just just kind of running the show is nice after you. <laughs> being the boss is great, but you also have many, many jobs. It's not just shoot the wedding. There's a lot of other things too. So it's definitely well-rounded and I feel like my hand is in everything from advertising to PR to to editing to you know educating myself on new techniques and it's always a, a learning learning process yeah constant learning process so when yeah. you, when you talk about how you know you've been in your business 16 years um, which is a pretty long time <laughs> You know what helped you? I you can talk about initially, but your with your confidence to sort of get started, and then what's kind of helped you with your confidence sustaining your business years? Um, I guess just once I started getting you know, feedback from clients was really helpful. Just happy clients made me feel more confident as I went, of course, and just getting more comfortable with the craft, the more and more weddings that I shot, the more and more comfortable I got. And you know, the less, the more I got to know my equipment and not worry about it failing or anything like that as, a, yeah. as the year went. And, you know, having backups and networks and a community too was helpful as well. Yeah. So when you kind of initially took that leap of, okay, I'm going to leave an airing job and go full time, what, what helped with that? sort of confidence to do that leap? Well, it was partially because I had my first son, so I didn't have time to add in a third job. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of knew, I felt like I had built up enough business to comfortably do that, and that just helped push me in that direction. Mm -hmm. And then I guess the, the biggest thing was just health insurance. You know, I really, I felt tied to that just to have the health insurance but then you know got it on my own and, and made it work and it turned out you know it's just a, it's a lot of hard work but it was nice you know scary to take the leap but I'm really glad I did and mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't as terrifying once I did it <laughs> as I did. <laughs> yeah so you think now that you're 15 years and keeps your confidence that feedback and that kind of growing and getting more and more experience you're doing. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah the, the feedback I, I love that definitely and yeah. and I, I try and you know pull things that clients really like like getting pictures quickly and mm -hmm. you know being responsive that's what I, I hear that a lot in the yeah. wedding industry it's hard hard to get quick responses from people so I try and do that and just you know help out almost like a wedding coordinator on the side where I'm trying to help them plan through their timelines and, and ideas throughout the whole day. So it's, it's not just like cut and dry photography. There's a lot more that I'm trying to help them with. Mm -hmm. nice, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You wear many hats. I feel like when I first started shooting with you, I didn't realize there was going to be such an event planning aspect. To yeah. The photography. <laughs> yeah. But for anybody, I'm sure any of your brides and groups can attest that you definitely have a calming effect on yeah, yeah. it. I even friends say that, too. It's just my – I don't get flustered. It takes a no. lot to get me flustered. And I'm very calm. And, you know, I've, I've been to so many weddings. I, I know, you know, all the options and how for them to run well and smoothly and, and tips for – you know, organizing your family for the family groupings and getting them there. And, you know, just my goal is to have the couples maximize their time with their guests and their family, just not having to 
to stand off to the side for all the formals for very long. I make it, you know, qu- as quick as I can so they can really enjoy the day. Right. Yeah. Right. And so when you talk about when you first took, you have some initial fears when you first into your business or when you first were like, okay, I'm going to do this full time. What were, you mentioned the health insurance. Were there any other kind of yeah, I guess get fears? It was- up? <laughs> Yeah, like your your standard nightmare, photographer nightmare, <laughs> your equipment just fails or you're really sick the day of the wedding or things like that. But, you know, over the years, you you get to know when I started, of course, I'm learning my camera gear a lot, but now I know it really well and I have backups for everything. So that helps with that problem. <laughs> and being sick, you know, I, I'm part of a large network of fellow wedding photographers so i it's i can you know people can pull resources and other people to fill in if needed i haven't had to do it yet knock on wood but <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's comforting knowing it's there mm-hmm. so that, that kind of stuff helps and you know just making sure i guess i was fearful like i have you know i have to get this shot i have to get it you know this is the big moment and and then uh over the years you know you just you know what's happening, you know what's coming up, so it's it's been easier to know when that's coming and capture it. Right, yeah, that makes sense. So as far as being your own business owner, um, and you know, you wearing multiple hats, are there any fears that kind of continue to come up for you with like, you know, where your business is going, or if, and, and I know you're not somebody that gets so flustered easily, so I think it, I, <laughs> curious what you know fears would even come up for you because I know you're so laid back about everything yeah I guess I mean the hardest challenge is you know continuing to grow and get better and better at the craft and learning new techniques because the timing is it's hard to find the time to to try stops when I can and um, do some instructional videos and and so on when i can right yeah so kind of keeping up with everything and staying ahead with the with your craft and skill in that sense yeah. cool um what right. support yeah so we've got time. <laughs> <laughs> so what support has helped you pursue your business over the years you have like support with friends yeah, so- yeah definitely friends family um family helping out with my son of course is is big (laughs) my schedule is so all over the place it's not cut and dry it changes every week so having their flexibility has been great and then just the community of photographers to help with any questions i've had technical questions over the years and different um, all kinds of situations so it's nice to have that community to be able to talk to and bounce ideas off of Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, that makes sense i feel like especially doing your own business in photography you're spending a lot of time solo so people you're connected with and community would i feel like be really important (laughs) yeah yeah definitely we have some great um like my eastern shore wedding is a nice local networking group of just um all kinds of wedding vendors mm-hmm. so it's nice to be able to meet with them i mean we haven't since covid but hopefully we will soon again <laughs> but just having that local wedding network you know we right. understand history and it's right. fun to about it <laughs> right the network is also you know dj i know we've gone to some weddings and you've worked with a bunch of the djs before yeah yeah everybody just kind of becomes friends at the wedding so you all know each other and (laughs) that helps it run really smoothly too because we all know how each other works and we can help each other with timing and so on yeah that's great uh so what i know i've always picked your brain when whenever like on our way to weddings or at them about business stuff but um what advice would you give the beginning stages of their business so say maybe something who's afraid to get it. I just say, you know, learn as much as you can, um, whether it's, well, photography, maybe second shooting with somebody else or 
Um, just, it's a lot of hard work. So you got to put a lot of time into it. I'd say it's, you know, definitely make the effort and learn as much as you can and get out there and, and practice as much as you can and oh. take it from there and don't, you know, don't get discouraged. Just keep going. Cause <laughs> the, the main thing that I love is just being able to do what I love, which you know, right. is, is a rare thing. I think these days. Right. So for you, it's that, you know, if somebody's afraid to get started, whatever industry they're in, it's sort of whatever way you can learn and start learning, learning from other people in the industry and getting yourself out there. That's kind of the best way you suggest. Yeah, I think that would help. Yeah, that would help build the confidence too. just, you know, learning as much as you can and you know, having a mentor of some sort or going to workshops, yeah. things like that. It's helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what are, what are some of the um, projects and things you're working on now? Do you have any updates with your focus photography? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. It's cutting out a little bit. So hopefully you can hear me. Okay. okay. But um, so I'm trying to, you know, play with different and, uh, unusual lighting techniques here and there at the reception just do some more creative coloring and fun lighting which you're helping me with which is great so <laughs> you help me with the lights a lot <laughs> and then um, the other thing is drone photography I have been doing a little bit of that here and there um, it's hard to find time during the wedding to do it but I try and throw it in for engagement sessions things like that too so that been fun, just kind of the aerial view, different view of things. Right. And then I'm trying to build a small um, base of work in the Bahamas while I'm there. So that's another another aspect. So when I leave in roughly November, December, and come back in April, I'm hoping, you know, along the East Coast, I can pick up some things and in the Bahamas as well. Mm -hmm. That'd be gonna be a fun addition, right? So yeah, and for any for anyone list tuning in, Laura and her and her family, they sail down. For, I mean, it seems like you either go in November, or December, and you kind of go down the meander down the East Coast, hit Charleston, Savannah, um, some cities in Florida, and then and then you kind of veer out to uh, the Bahamas. So and that's where I I met up with you before, but. Um, so trying to get or line up shoots yeah. and network and connecting with uh, vendors and things, the spots that you're sailing at in the off season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. And so where do you kind of yeah, see yeah. the vision of your business going? Is it kind of this piece of splitting your time between St. Michael's, Maryland and shooting the DMV area and then spending then the part of the year traveling and going on adventures and shooting while you're doing that is that kind of how you see the design of your business moving into <laughs> yeah yeah I love I mean I love definitely the eastern shore area is my niche I think I grew up here I love the water and boating so it's a perfect place for me to be to shoot weddings and portraits and eventually I mean I guess a long-term goal is shoot weddings occasionally more internationally like a, a dream wedding would be on the uh, coast of Italy somewhere shooting a wedding so that, that would be amazing yeah. for me that, that, that does sound awesome <laughs> yeah cool <laughs> yeah um, first, you know I'll, I would love to send some of it so far like Dominican Republic and Mexico I've weddings mm -hmm. there Mm -hmm. And lo would love to do more of that, too. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you so much for hopping on. I know you have like a lot going on right now, <laughs> but I w I really wanted people to kind of. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> I, it's been inspiring for me, thank Laura, you. and somebody that I kind of have. She's I feel like mentored me in a lot of ways with having photography business, mm -hmm. and then sort of thinking about running your own business so then you can design design it in a way that fits the lifestyle that you want so if you are somebody 
wants to leave. I, I've kind of left a lot in the winters too, gone somewhere tropical and to, to do diving and other things. <laughs> so I feel like that's why we, yeah. we have a lot to talk about in that way. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, and if anybody does want to connect with Laura, <laughs> I did tag her with her Instagram account and she's always posting fun uh, photos of her different shoots. And sh I think you start up in April, right? With all of your shooting again. I think mm -hmm. I'll be helping you in May. <laughs> yep, yep. Weddings get back into full swing here soon. So it'll be nice to yeah. hopefully have a more normal weather this year. It seems like most of them are going to go ahead and make it happen. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I know this last year was kind of a, <laughs> a shit show with weddings yeah. and photographers. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Laura. And uh, we will talk soon. I'll see you soon. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right. All right bye. You.